Hi everybody, Hidden Object Guru here. We're going to be playing some games on tonight's stream. One of them I'm very excited about because I've played a ton of this, but I haven't been allowed to show it on stream because of, you know, embargo rules. I'm, that embargo is finally over, so who boy do you get to check out some Skull the Hero Slayer as I re uh, record uh, some audio for a video about it, as one does. Okay, let's get this thing going. Okay. Hey, David, what's up? Wow. Alex went nuts on the keyboard. Or his cat fell on it. Or her cat fell on it. Hey, you, uh, Asarmi? Is that how you say that name? Asarmi? Anyway, welcome aboard. Uh, say hi to today's star of the plushie cam. It's Boo! Okay, he's actually way down at the bottom of the camera. I'll have uh, Lady Guru adjust that when she gets back. That's a little embarrassing. Let's see this stream screen. Who's ready for some skull? Le Tuer. Uh, no, a uh, skull contra le hero. That's a reference to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. See, in, you can't say the word slayer in French because French isn't a complicated language. And uh, Buffy the Vampire Killer doesn't really sound good so they went with uh buffy against the vampires when they were translating it boom i'm gonna full screen this don't worry i'm not crazy hey joanne horror king what is up hidden object guru here with hot new game skull the hero slayer this is my favorite character in the game it's a uh, death knight Death Knight does not like to fight. Death Knight likes to knit and hang out with baby birds. You gotta respect it. Okay, I will give you 1,500 dark quartz to fix the castle. Uh, you have to have Death Knight fix it three times to get a full castle. Exactly right, Horror King. So, here's the premise of the game. You play as Skull... An adorable skeleton with a special power that he can grab other skeleton skulls, pop them onto his head, and then use their powers. So right now he's a God of War themed skeleton, but there are 32 different, uh, 32 different characters he can change into. And many of those characters, almost all of them in fact, have various levels of upgradability. Uh, so they start off as, hey, there was the guy painting the castle. That's so cute. Uh, so you've got your uh, Ent Skull, your Warrior. And so you see how this one is rare and this one is common. There are four ranks. Done, perfect. Uh, there are four ranks to the uh, characters. Common, rare, unique, and legendary. So some start as legendary. I went in there so I would be guaranteed another uh, skeleton. I apologize in advance if I'm bad at the game. After uh, beating it, uh, which I did manage to beat it, so yay. I needed to collect some footage, so for the past few days I've been playing the game entirely. You okay there, woman? That's hilarious. As I was saying, 
I was, uh, for the last couple of days, I've been playing the game collecting footage for a couple of videos, and I've been cheating mercilessly. So, you know, uh, mega damage, invulnerability. So, I'm used to playing the game basically having it impossible to die. Ah, uh, boom. Pick that up. I'm going to show off as many of these guys as I can. Oh, he's got a very good power. Oh my god, this thing becomes monstrously powerful when you upgrade him. So watch this. So it does good damage already. But when you up that, it upgrade that, this attack, turns into essentially a chainsaw that he can use to not kill bosses instantly, but almost instantly. That's why it has such a long reload time. The uh, number one best thing to cheat with in this game is the... Uh, no cooldown on the special attacks, because, oh my god, you just dominate everything. It's mad. Uh-oh. Please die. There we go. Okay, well, that was my mistake. Oh, that's weird. So anyway, the doors are supposed to tell you what item you're going to get on the other side, but I think there's a glitch, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so the door that has skulls around it always brings you to a new skeleton head at the end. And you'd think the one with riches around it would always bring you to money, and the uh, one that's plain would always bring you to a ni nice item. But I think there's a glitch. So we're gonna, we're gonna find out. Because I went through a riches door and there was an item at the end. At least I think I went through a riches door. We're gonna double check. Oh, you, uh, by destroying these, you keep them from healing, and you get the healing power for yourself, so it's always worth doing. Not every uh, level has one of these bonus, uh, altars you can destroy, but many do. This guy does not have a ranged attack. This is the Ent. He is also extremely badass, because he can do that. He does big damage, and he only gets bigger and stronger with each passing upgrade. Oh, also, when you switch between skulls, not every character has one, but many characters have a special attack they do when you're swapping skulls, which is pretty cool, too. Okay, careful. Oh, my God. So, yes, I played the demo of this ages ago, like last summer, and I was very impressed. And now it's done, and it's really great. Okay, so, as you can see... Okay, maybe it's just random. I don't know. Uh, so that's a skeleton door. We're definitely going to get a skull behind there. Careful. No, wait, I did go through a plane door that last time, right? And then we ended up getting... Uh, we ended up getting money at the end of that one. All right, so the next time we find a riches door, we're walking through it. And we're going to see whether we get uh, money or an item. Because I'm theorizing that they've actually glitched which door. The idea is that the adornment around the door is supposed to tell you what kind of item you're going to get on the other side so you can plan your trip. If you want to constantly be upgrading characters, go for skeletons. If you want to get money to... Uh, oh, Berserker. This is a fun one. Sorry, Ent. You're getting replaced. Uh, boop. And you destroy skulls to get bones to upgrade their other skulls. Anyway, uh, yay, here's the store. So if you want to get money, you come to the... If you want to shop to get better at the store, you uh, focus on getting money and so on and so forth. Okay, this is a mini-boss fight, so I don't get to decide what we're doing. Hey, Marissa, what's up? Success is messing around. But I have a lot of powers. Although, fun fact, uh, because you're fighting adventurers, right? Uh, they all have healing potions. So at any given moment, they can just start drinking healing potions. Now, they can't attack you while they're uh, healing, of course. Just like in you know, Dark Souls or many of the games in Heaven's Help. There we go. Wounded her and sent her back to base. She can come back later. Ooh, werewolf! That's also a fun one. Damn, I just want to show everybody. 
off. Uh, so yeah, let's take the werewolf so you can see this guy in action. And I'll get those extra skulls. I could level up the werewolf, but I want to level up the uh, soldier instead. Again, so you can see how amazing this buzzsaw technique becomes. Hey, jo hey Marissa, what's up? And now I've transformed into a heartier soldier. Alright, so, as you can see, there's a plain door and a door covered in jewels. So, theoretically, the one with gold piled all around it is going to get me an item, if my theory is correct. So, let's find out. You little monster. There, I'm pushing you on the spike. See how you look. Oh! It is. Oh no! I forgot that the werewolf dashes forward when he transforms, so. Gotta be careful with that in trap fill environments. Yep, there's an item. Oh, it's good, Mike. It is one of my favorite roguelites already. Very clever. There's 32 characters to play as. 33 counting your base character who can't improve. So you only really want to count the guys with special powers. Your base character is only really there to get you started and teach you how to play the game. Oh. I already saw the skull. It's also in the title of the stream. I always answer questions, but come on. Oh, Marissa, I'm so jealous. See, my problem is I, I'm back at work this week, which means I have to get up early. But Boing. I was on vacation last week, so I slept in every day. Okay. And now my body's like, no, you don't get to sleep early. So we went through a plane door that time, right? We gotta keep better track of this. Uh, Horror King, yeah, I did see your tweet about how long the chapter's over. That's great. Water Skull! Oh, the Water Skull's so much fun. Werewolf's fun, too. Water Skull's real real fun. Uh, physical I mean, attack by 20? Yes, please. I don't encourage it, Pravda, but I used to fall asleep in school all the time. It's oh, check this out. Uh, so. Okay, that's a pretty good attack. Uh-oh. So, as you can see, when I hit him, these guys, I do 23 points of damage. 16, so you see the numbers, they change every time. There's a random number generation element to all the damage. But he is. Notice that the damage I'm doing is yellow. That means I'm doing physical damage to them. If the damage is blue, I'm doing magical damage. That's magic damage. I don't know why hitting them with a sword really quickly counts as magic damage, but here we are. There we go. Oh, you don't get hurt by explosions? So. Alright, as you can see, there's a skull door and a door covered in riches. I need to upgrade this guy, so I'm gonna go through the skull door. But when there's not a skull door, we're gonna test my theory. Okay. Uh oh, there we go. No! Do I understand why I'm poisoning guys by jumping on top of them? But it's happening, and that's what counts. Uh-oh! Boss rush. Get it to be the big, heavy, scary guy who's the boss of other guys, but he crushes. It's not an actual boss rush. It's not, not a funny one. Oh, Carleon's recruit, uh, Carleon recruit is fun, too, because he doesn't have any particularly good attacks or special abilities, but uh, when you upgrade him, he gets the ability to summon reinforcements. How? So you can... Uh, have uh, some random dude attacking your enemies while you sit back and watch. It's quite effective. <laughs> no! Okay, that sucked. There we go. Ooh, Krabda, that's not fun. No. I, mean, I joke about hey, falling asleep in school, but I also had like used to have four. So there you go. Insomnia, so. Plain yeah. door. And we ended up with money. I already found one glitch in this game. I think I'm. this may be a glitch I've never noticed because I've always just tried to get skulls. 
right? To constantly upgrade my characters, but I think they've got the doors backwards. Okay. So the fun of this attack is, and I haven't really shown you why it's the most fun attack. Ugh. So, this guy is weirdly difficult to dodge, because he raises his hands up to attack you. Which is fine, no complaints. But, as he starts moving down, the, the floor drops out from beneath you, and that counts as a jump. So you can't jump, double jump high enough into the air to attack him. Alright, so. Jump, jump. Okay, perfect. That time I jumped early enough that it wasn't an issue. Yeah, that's what this attack does. It hits him ten times, and then two seconds later, it hits him ten more times. I think he had one of the best attacks. Come on, almost done. Uh-oh. Come on, almost dead. And I will, kind of in the middle of a boss fight, though. No! Everyone says that about you. <laughs> oh, thank God this is over. All right, done. Now, let's uh, turn down the volume for peeps. There you go, everybody. Done and done, and I mean done. Oh, math. I gave up on you real early in school. Higher math has never been my thing. All right. Oh, Sylphid Wings. These are the best. They give you a triple jump. So normally you have a double jump. Now you have a triple jump. And you run like 50% faster. It's an unbelievably high level. Like, that's hey, the kind Spana. of item I tend to expect to get, like, for killing the final, for the killing the second last boss in the game. You always get a legendary item for killing her. So, way to go. Really lucked out on that draw. All right, so now you'll see the next evolution of this guy, who's Mega Adorbs. So now I've got an even more powerful chainsaw, and I can do a, a dash. So this is a plain door, meaning at the end of this next level, we should get a pile of money. Okay? Let's see. Oh, hi. The most annoying room in the entire uh, level. I was good at math and science, but I preferred the arts, Joanne. As I well you should. Uh, enjoyed music and writing. and Actually, I was I was in drama for a really long time. Good night, Hoguru sweet and prince. I here probably, we figure, competed in some of the same years. Oh, yeah. Uh, for um, Theater festival. Yeah, our province's uh, province-wide theater festival. Oh, well, it hurt him. And but see, we, here's we why this floor is so I should unbelievably that. annoying. Not only do you have to, like, only get around by using... Jumping on bouncy sofas. You also have to deal with them constantly respawning back below you. It is uh, a frustration and a half. Thank you. Is that it? Nope, still not it. In one of the more fortunate things about the game, though, they always tell you how many guys are left in the level for you to kill. Okay. Boom. Pile of money, just like I said. So, which of these two doors, and I'm just confirming my craziness with her, which of these two doors, right... Would you assume would have a pile of money behind it the one when you got the, the, the money, money, right? Thing. Yeah, that's what you would think, right? Yeah. So let's go in there and see what happens. Okay. Watch out. The maids can kill you. Uh, and this is in one of the game's uh, bleaker and more uh, questionable elements. You do have to fight everybody in this place, including the uh, essentially like slaves who work in the uh, scu uh, the scullery dungeon. So it's made to depress you? No, not at all. It's just reminding you. Ma maids? But those aren't maids. 
really. But you said maybe. I know, I'm just uh, using a generic term. Well, boo and me. I know. You don't get to poo on my puns. I would when never. you were the one that started. I would it. never insult your punning. See what I mean? I'm too nice. used to not being Marissa. hurtable at all. There we go. And now we have to go back because there's some uh, slaves to hit. Awesome, Marissa. See, I was good at math, but I never found that much enjoyment from solving equations. I'm not 100% clear what 3D art is. Thank you. Oh, yes, and the head maid there can summon more maids to attack you. So she... Hold on. Through a... Uh... There's, there's a pun here. I know, I'm waiting. She makes... Maid makes... Something makes made. It's playing words here. My brain is too tired to come up with it. Well, though. you keep trying, lady. I think I only got like three hours. And as you can it. see, even though we went through a door that was f covered in riches, we got an item. Yeah. But if we go through this door that you'd think would be an item, when we get to the end, Ooh. it's going to have nothing but cash. She swears constantly, Pravda. That is not scandalous. I'm the only one who doesn't swear. Yeah, sorry. She is very foul mouthed. Did I did I did I just swear? Oh yeah. Oh. No well, one's judging you. Shit, I'll try and stop. Oof. <laughs> You're an embarrassment to your people. How about I swear in French? Would that make Nope, it that's no? even worse. How's that worse? Because I say so. French Boom. swearing is fun. And yet. Don't. All French swearing. See? A pile of cash. All French swearing is just, um... Various things you might find in a church. Yeah. Just saying the names of things you might find in a church. It's a weird language. For a lot of reasons. I will. That's cool, Marissa. She says 3D art is anything 3D. She can turn anything to art as long as it's not flat. Oh, okay. So, not paintings. Or murals. Which is, to be fair, a kind of painting. Nice. See, I hear 3D art. I would assume you were talking about computer art. Lady Guru is really, really tired. She will be napping long before we get to Outlast on tonight's stream. I'm that kind of tired that makes you seem, like, drunk. Also, she's drunk. I'm not drunk. Who said you were? I didn't have anything to drink. Okay. Yeesh. I would love a reward spokesman of the mist. <laughs> Thank you for the extra attack speed. Wow, you really notice it. And again, there will be cash at the end of this because it doesn't have uh, bones or, weirdly, cash around it. Ah. So in a little bit, we're going to have to fight two uh, heroes. We fought one hero last time. So what you do is, in the first level, you fight one hero. In the second level, you fight two heroes, three heroes, and then if you make it to the fourth level, which is actually really hard to do, you will fight an upgraded version of one of the game's, I think, five heroes? Count for me here. Get your hand out and get ready to count. Okay. Uh, adventurer. Alright. Uh, warrior. Ninja. Magician. Priestess. Archer. That's six. Six heroes. There's six possible heroes. There you go, Marissa. Uh, lots of French swearing in Man of Medan, it's true. Really? Well, it's the, you're, from, you're in French Polynesia. Oh, okay. So, of course, the locals speak French. <coughs> different swearing than French Canadian Oh, completely French. different. But uh, that's swearing. a whole other conversation. Yeah. Ow. The odds of me making it to the end in this particular run are not very good. No. Well, I'm not being particularly careful, so I got that failing to go for me. Alright, so she's going to start fire shooting giant fireballs at me. Ow, and I'm not as good as dodging them as I want to be. But yes, the trick for uh, fighting these two villain sequences is always try to focus on one person and kill them as quickly as possible. So you won't get overwhelmed. And if one of those characters is the priestess, 
always kill her because she can heal everybody else uh, while they're fighting. Uh, here's another fun fact. Uh, what's that? Hello, Wesley. And of course we do. We love satire. Uh, I don't have enough to upgrade this guy, which is sad. I need a hundred to upgrade him at this point. So let's try and get more. Uh, that is a funny headline. <laughs> oh, please. Nope. No! No! Okay, well now I'm just jumping into fireballs. Whatever timing I had is long since uh, left me. Fun fact, the next boss fight I'm going to show you, I assume I'm going to get there. Hey, Living Armor! This is one of my favorite suits. Uh, okay. No, I just hiccup from time to time, Pravda. Check that guy out. It's like an asthma thing. Yes, it's quite terrifying. Not terrifying. There's not, like, painful hiccups. Well, I know. I didn't say it was painful. The I said it was terrifying. painful hiccups are, like, bad. The really, really loud ones. Wow, that fire is very powerful. I love the living armor. It looks so adorbs. Whoa! Hey there, guys! Okay. Yeah, I'm almost out of health. Fun fact. Uh, one thing about this game's balances... There's really no way to get health back. Like, every now and then a guy will drop an orb that has 10 health in it, but that doesn't happen that much. And every now and then, uh, when you get to a shop, you can... Well, no, I'll show you in a second, because I'm about to get to a shop. You can buy some health for a ton of money, but you'll never know how much health you're going to be able to buy. Like, uh, one time, I bought a thing where it was like, literally, you get back one hit point. Well, thanks for that. Uh, now it's going to be 30%. Oh, oh it, all, it does always give you one extra. Uh, bonus? Boon? Buff? One of those words. Uh, so increase attack speed by 25% until I clear two maps. Nice. And that is Predator. Well, I'm embarrassed now. What? Uh, well, the game's has just added a new monster in today's update. Yay! But I already put together a video showing all of the monsters. No! Well, that was embarrassing. No! Of course, uh, Athizuma. Yeah. Oh my god, this guy looks fantastic. What yeah, is going on with okay. you? All right. Uh, Master Fighter increases if there are two less enemies. Yeah, I'll take that. What can I get rid of? I need extra health. Sylphid Wings. Don't need 30 gold per map. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. I'm ready for this action, baby. Oh my god, this guy is powerful. I'm so lost right now. About what? In the chat. Ah, it happens to it us. It might be my tired brain. Again, it happens to the best of us. And by the best of us, I mean you. So, a fun thing about having two characters in this game is you can constantly uh, swap them out while you're waiting for your powers to recharge. So, the minute I get done fighting with uh, using both of my powers with one character, I just swap out. And I fight for a while with my second character. And then jump back in with this uh, guy whose powers are now uh, recharged. It's handy. Yes, Delbert. Later, Pravda. See your comments. Bye, Pravda. Okay. Oh, you're joking. Okay, good. That was not clear. <laughs> uh, Boom. Wait, I missed something. Um, uh, did, uh, yes, we can see Delbert. Oh, uh, Joanne. Yes, I did. Uh, probably had asthma most of my life. Oh yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah. Boom. Hey, buddy. I have, like, a ton of allergies. Like, I'm basically allergic to the entire world. You're allergic to life. Yeah. Life, man. 
Is the line reading you're looking for, you know, life. Life. Although, Hoguru here is also allergic to a lot of stuff. It's true, almost everything. Uh, increased magic attack, 45 for every spirit you have. I have no spirit, so why bother picking it up? You have spirit. Oh. Ra, ra, Super ra. helpful. Oh, well, I screwed that up. Hey, buddy. Okay, I got the healer killed before you had a chance to heal anybody, so that's a plus. Shield guys are the most annoying for I pretty what I think are pretty obvious reasons. Ow! Forgot he could do that. Thought he could only charge. Do you Oof. want to be depressed about age? Never. Why would uh, I ever want that? Today would be Buffy Summers, the character's 30th 40th birthday. birthday. Oh, 30th? Okay. 40th. 40th birthday. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Gosh darn, adding a monster just as I was making my... Like, literally, I've played this game probably, I mean, if you count all the times I died and had to reload, 40 times at this point. And I have never seen this monster before. He looks great. What is he? He's unique. Wow, he only has one level up. Although, to get that level up, I will need, and this is true, 100 bones. Yeah, Joanne, it's kind of a hassle. Oh, crap. And it took me way too long in my life to learn the asthma breathing when oh exercising exor uh, uh, a lesson. What the hell happened there? Which is, you're having trouble breathing, like you, you find you're like a little tight. Don't try to push through. Back off. Apparently there's a shield guy there. And just, you know, breathe. And then go, like, then go back to like running hard or whatever the hell you're doing. Whew. Oh, good. A magician. Oh, wow, Marissa. I mean, being allergic to gluten sucks. Trust me, I'm allergic to gluten, but it's nice to only have the one allergy. Oh, yeah. And what is this? Increased dash damage by 100%, increase, decrease incoming damage by 10%. Can I use this? 15. Oh, good night, Pravda. You have a good night. I understand needing sleep. Mm. I will also be asleep very soon. Unbelievably soon. So you won't miss much, because I'll be, you know, gone exactly. from the stream, because I'll be sleeping. Unless you want it's to hear me snoring. It's clear what you meant. She does love to snore. I don't actually know that I snore. Okay. You know, you've literally woken yourself up by snoring. <laughs> that's true. Like, that's happened. <laughs> Alright, so this is the hardest boss fight in the entire game. Which is kind of weird, because it's only the second boss fight in the entire game. But you have to fight two swords ladies simultaneously. And they're both very annoying. I like their cloaks. Oh no, they have great outfits. No one is criticizing their outfits. Okay. Yeah, they kind of pull this nonsense all the time. Uh -oh. They're very annoying. Nope. And I missed with my chainsaw attack. Great. Oh my god. No! Oh, that was close. One of the few times they're, like, legit weak is after they've just done that attack. Okay. Although, I will oh. say there is... What? <laughs> Apparently, Marissa is confirming that I snore, and that they've heard it on the stream. Oh, many times. times. Yeah. <laughs> it's not... Like, it's not a hypothetical. Everyone has heard you snore. And yet, when I've asked you in the past, you're like, no. Yes, because I'm polite. So there's actually a big problem when you're, uh, you have to be careful when fighting this lady, because... No! She did it again?! Anyway, uh, when you take out one of them, the other one Ornstein and Smows their way into having, uh, double the attack power. But, even though they get a bunch of extra health... Oh, yes! No! Uh, they don't get to keep, uh... They, what do you call it? They don't get fully healed. So any damage you did to them when they were in their first form gets kept from their second form. Okay, well, this is going to suck. Uh, the upside, though, it's not really an upside. Oh, she's pissed now. Good night, Pravda. Oh, she seems angry. Yeah, that's what I literally Ooh, just said. Ooh, black outfit. Yeah, no, she looks even better now. Everyone, gah! Forgot about that attack. She usually does this three times, but sometimes only two. There's the third one. Oh, no, she just started a new set. 
Whoa! Oh my god, this character's great. Must play as him more. Oh no! Oh, I hate that attack. Ah! Come on, keep jumping. Nope. She's almost dead, right? I cannot afford to look up at her health, so I need you to do it for me. Uh, about like a, a quarter of the way now. That's good, quarter right? Left. Yeah, quarter left. Okay. What? I'm down to almost no health, aren't I? Again, cannot afford to look. The bottom left. Oh! Oh, yeah. Well, but she's lower than you. Well, that's good. It would be better if I didn't keep missing with all of my special attacks. Oh, thank God that's you over. Did it! Yay! So that is the hardest boss fight in the game. Now, um, unless I can get a lot of health back, I don't have a prayer of beating this thing. Because there's a lot of hard non-boss fights between here and the end of the game. <laughs> oh, yes. Hydra is so much better than uh, Flame. Yeah. Delbert, uh... Because it's a projectile. This is why he goes through so many controllers. It's true. A trash controller's on the reg. Oh. Okay, I'm at 35. I just need 65 more. Which I would have had if I wasn't... Hadn't kept trying to prove that theory of mine and just, you know, like, gone after the skulls like I normally would. These guys explode when you do too much damage to them because they are monstrous experiments. Kablooey! Yes. Oh no, they're summoning a thingy! A thingy? Uh, yeah, they're summoning... These guys were researching gems. And uh, if you disturb them, it opens up a portal to the gem dimension. I really like that tree. And they... Uh, oh no, he's great. Uh, and they summon a golem, right? But you can stop it from happening if you kill them before they get sucked into the rift to the golem dimension. Ow, forgot he could do that. Oh, that was bad. Whoa, he explodes too. Also forgot that. So yeah, it's kind of a rough ride is what I'm getting at. Uh, is there a new final boss? Who's the new final boss? I only thought the the, only, the biggest boss I've fought is the, uh, the three phases of the first hero. Which, by the way, oh my god. That is a tough boss fight. Uh, it's not as tough as the, the two ladies fighting you simultaneously, but it is incredibly tough. Hello, Horror King. I have no idea. I'm so dozy I've forgotten what you Okay, so now, as you can see, they're summoning a dude, but the other guy I have to kill is on the other side of those lasers, so... Can I kill him in time? Oh, that was close. No! Oh, I hate all of those dudes. All right, I'm gonna take a step back. Luckily, there are no time limits in this game. Ugh. Okay, that was terrible. I'm a fan of no time limits. Oh, I love it. That's why I love the big changes to the Atelier games. No time limits anymore. Yay. Do I have an item that's giving me more shielding? Because I can't keep getting more shields. Ow! Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. It it's going well. Beside your thing. Yeah, that's my shields. Oh. Mm. oh, that is the new final boss. Thank you for telling me. I love that fight. Uh, wonderful, dramatic, super intense. Yeah, I was a big fan of the new final boss fight. Uh, I had only played the uh, demo <laughs> version from last summer, so I had not seen 90% of the game's content. Like, uh, there were only a paltry number of skulls to use when I was playing the game. When did... Uh, if you know, can you tell me when the new Predator went in? Because I just got through playing this game 50 times uh, to enjoy it and collect footage and this is the first time i've seen this predator guy he's amazing but i have not i have never seen him before all right there we go he's unbelievably badass actually uh no this is not this is not an upgraded anything i've never seen the predator skull before rockstar all right, everybody, you're going to get to see the coolest skull in the game. I'm sorry to get rid of you, Royal Guard, but the Rockstar is the best skull. I mean, he's not the best skull to play as, but just look at this guy. First off, <laughs> look at his hair. That's a. Amazing. Check out his attacks. That's awesome. Oh, no, I don't have the dash attack. Well, that's sad, but this is a good attack, too. 
Let's see, does he have the amp attack? Oh, he has the amp attack. Amp attack is also awesome. So check this out. See? Wow. Yeah. And uh, the best part is, so if you do a critical hit... So I just had somehow never seen Predator? That's insane. Well, it is random number generation. I'm like, are there other skulls I've never seen before? Ooh, wow. an excuse to keep playing. Well, it's a really good game, but the problem is I got to review that new uh, Atelier, the new Atelier game. Yeah. Which I mean isn't really a hardship. You love Atelier games. Yes, they're the best franchise in JRPG. Uh oh, they finished uh, summoning the skull this the golem this time, and as you can see, he is not in a good mood. He seems very upset. He's got issues. But, but maybe you're just misreading him. I am not misreading him. Maybe he's just trying to give you a big old hug. Yeah, you were you were badly misreading the situation, <laughs> lady. Nice one, Horror King. Nice one. What the heck? Yeah, I actually beat the uh, final boss of the game my first try. It took me four tries to beat the uh, Archbishop. And then I lucked into doing it with some really, uh, really good skulls. Including, yes, my beloved Dark Paladin. Mm -hmm. Dark Paladin's one of the best characters in the game. Even in his non-upgraded form, it's an inc Oh, damn. Yeah, I gotta kill these guys faster. Yes, apparently getting rid of the, uh... The Royal Guard to show off the, uh... I mean, he is unbelievably powerful. To show off, uh, the Rockstar might have been a bit of a mistake. Because, you know... I think you all saw what happened there. Hey, let's pay for some healing. Bomber, Recruit, and Shield. They're all pretty fun. Uh, 35%. 30%. Okay, that's fine. Got some more health. That's good. But I'm about to do a boss fight. Ghoul is, ghoul is pretty fun. Uh, but I don't feel comfortable using it now. Because I'm about to do a fight of, between me and three dudes. Archlich, Aqua, and Sneaky. Now, when you say sneak, what do you mean by sneak? Is that the petty thief? Is that the... Like, sneak is a too generic a term for my taste. Are we talking about the petty thief? Are we talking about the ninja? Or is there another skull I'm not familiar with? I do love that he kills people with music. He just plays music at them really loudly. What does this guy want? Does he want health? I'm trying to remember what... Does he want cash? This guy wants something. I'm trying to remember what it was. Maybe he wants pie. Very helpful suggestion. Doesn't everyone want pie? Not me. I can't stand the stuff. That's true. How about cheesecake? Maybe he wants cheesecake. He might want cheesecake. It is true that everyone wants cheesecake. There you go. Alright, what's your deal, buddy? Alchemist Ant, then there was the Dead Cells. Yeah, I love the Dead Cells crossover. It's just too bad that he can't um, be upgraded. He just starts out, and yet he doesn't start as a legendary figure. He starts out as unique, but he can't be upgraded, upgraded to legendary. Okay, Magnifico. Yeah. Magnifico is the highest level... Uh, Sneak is the one who can gold upon hits, wields two curved daggers. I feel like I've seen him, but I don't remember him specifically. Marissa, Hoguru here makes awesome gluten-free cheesecake. It's the best. Yeah, no, take my money. It's fine. All right, so he swapped up my powers. So now I have, ooh, slightly different powers. Ghost Rider. I mean, I love the this guy, but I want to show off Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Yeah, check it out. Yes, you can upgrade him twice, and on his highest level of upgrade, he has an entire motorcycle gang that comes along with him. That's awesome. It's really awesome. No! That was close. Yes, I could very much use this healing. I'm hoping that uh, I can survive the three-person fight, because as you'll see if I beat the three-person fight, the boss for this level is considerably easier than the three-adventure fight you have to do first. 
Archmage, Rockstar, and Ghoul. I really do like the Ghoul. I've only played him while I was cheating at the game, so I don't know if I'd be any good at him, but it's a very cool enemy design, and I'm a big fan. Because uh, he knocks p chunks of flesh off of his enemies, and then when he eats them, he gets bigger. And, uh, ergo, more, uh, more powerful. And the most entertaining part is, the first time I used him, I accidentally uh, got so big by killing a bunch of guys that I could not get through a doorway. It wears off after 10 seconds, so it's not a problem. But it was a weird 10 seconds. Uh, what do you mean, did they change Ryder? That's how he's always looked to me. If you upgrade him, he gets uh, a flaming mohawk, and then if you fully upgrade him, he's got, like, the full flaming skull go going on. All right, triple fight. Wish me luck. You sound so excited. Okay, that sucked. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's switch characters. Hurt them before they can kill me. Just gotta finish her off before she can heal. Uh, the upgraded version of her can heal like 200 hit points per second. Or 200 hit point, or 150, something like that. Some obscene amount of hit points per second. Like, it's insane. Just like, see how the number 17 is floating over her head as she heals sometimes? Uh, when she's in full heal mode? Yeah, that'll be the number 60. And she just healed herself up for 173 a couple of times there. Well, luckily I poisoned her. Come on, just die already. Oh, I do not have enough. Oh, she's down. Okay, good. Uh, I know it makes more sense to take out the weakest guy first, but the ninja's really hard to catch. Because he's constantly teleporting around the map. No, I only hit w her with one of the acid things. Oh no, she's doing a superpower attack. It's very annoying. You've already seen it though, so. And done. Okay. Okay. Down. One more. This should not be too much of a challenge. Ow! Okay, it's more of a challenge than I thought it would be. Oh my god. I'm almost dead. Yeah, these multi-person fights are the hardest part of the game by, like, a lot. To the point where I, like, I sometimes find the level 4 hard version of a guy to be easier to beat than fighting three guys at once. Please. Oh, it's over. Okay. Yeah, ninja's deadly. I'm not eating cheesecake. The final boss used to be the ki uh, the Chimera. Really? I didn't know that. Sphinx, I, man, and golem. Oh, Ow! I was told to do it by the stream. You people are worthless. <laughs> uh, uh, I was just saying cheesecake is delicious, and then I was bragging, and Marissa said cheesecake is delicious, and I was bragging on the fact that Hoguru here makes me cheesecake that is gluten-free. I the famously do. it was like blueberry cinnamon cheesecake. And it oh my was god. Are, is everybody ready? We are going to find out. What the finish level of the Predator looks like. Ooh. So that's Predator. Rip. Break. Steal. Awaken. I have enough. I was so beaten down by that fight. Damn! You see this guy, right? Destroyer. Oh my god. This guy's amazing. Aww. That's fantastic. Oh yeah, he seems very powerful. Oh, so the upgrading to different forms of the skulls is a new addition? Nice, I had no idea. No. It's uh, awesome having a motorcycle. Ow. If only I were better at utilizing it to great effect. Oh no. It's a great alchemist. Uh, they have uh, very good powers. To the point where I'm in real trouble now. Well, there's the golem. 
He should be causing me tons of trouble. See, this place is unbelievably dangerous because, ow, and it's something I'll never really get used to. Uh, everything in the background, there's like uh, vials everywhere. If you accidentally destroy the vials or, you know, let them get destroyed. I don't even know what hit me there. Oh, a long range attack by this jerk. Apparently he uh, loaded poorly and he spawned inside the floor. Luckily that's not making it hard to hit him, but if it had, I'd be in trouble because you can't leave a level without killing everybody. Yeah, the destroyer looks fantastic. Big fan of this guy. Please die and give me health. He did not give me health. Okay, I'm in real trouble here. Are we closing in on the... Well, there's no sign of us getting to a... Uh, a door. Anytime soon. Three, and charge. And he's dead! Whew! Uh, cool Delbert. Which one? The one from the start or one from the end? Buddy, I don't know why you weren't down there in that fight, but I almost feel sorry for you. No, gold isn't new, because the items are always there. The upgrading is new, right? Is that what you're saying? These are one of the trap rooms that I was talking about as being so good at eating away all of your health on this level. Luckily, the traps also affect all of the enemies, so that's a nice touch. And these guys don't infinitely respawn, so I can just wait and kill all of them. Then do the traps. Uh-oh. Oh my god, you little weasels. Quit it. Okay, that was actually pretty cute. Come on, yes. And they're back for more. Uh, yes, I think the only, and I've never actually tested this, but I think the only character that can infinitely spawn is the people that the uh, head maid summons through her dimensional doorway. Although, again, I've never tested that. That is just an assumption on my part. What? No! Well, that was close. Just new uses for gold. Gotcha. All right. Come on! Three ogres? What is it with this level? I continue not doing the exploding thing. By running away from the ogres, I gave my, put myself in an advantageous position. Because uh, I figured they would get hit by a bunch of traps while they were chasing me down. And they did. And then I poisoned all of them. I guess I'm kind of a monster. <laughs> what? How does he have full health? Oh, he just spawned in. Okay. Yeah, there was a second set of ogres that spawned when I killed the first ones. Did not know that. Right, of course! Yes, I had not thought about that, but uh, the Chimera, of course. And in the, the Archbishop fight at the end. I was not counting bosses. I meant in the regular game, but yes. Uh, obviously bosses have infinitely respawning enemies. Uh, hopefully I live long enough to be able to show y'all the uh, upgraded Ghost Rider. Hi, Roxy! I just got a, uh, I just got attacked by a, um, what? Raccoon. But it was pretty cute, so I'm not mad about it. Careful. Oh, yes! Respawning health! Exactly what I needed. Oh, no. This jerk. Really? So, yeah, in case you're wondering, he can summon a golem to attack me. He is the worst. But luckily, as with all of the troops, he is not immune to uh, traps himself. So as long as you push him into those grinders, he will die very quickly. Oh, I thought I had a... Well, that was bad. Yes. Is that it? That's all of them? That's all of them. Alright. Will I get an... Oh, no. I hate this so much. Especially with a character this oversized, making it nearly impossible to do the jumping puzzle without getting hits. Oh, the conveyor belts and traps are new. I didn't know. Nice. Yes! Okay, so you're literally pulling down the Jesus of Skeletons, as you can see. Yeah. Literally yeah. Skeleton Jesus. Oh. And it was... Oh, the Gambler! He's fun, but not always useful. Check it out. See? Oh, cool. Yeah. And then whatever you roll on the dice, that's what he... Uh, 
That's throwing 21 cards, which do random damage, because again, he's a mon he's a, a gambler. And whenever you roll on the dice, that's how many spikes come up. That's cute. Uh, should I switch to him from Destroyer? I mean, I really enjoyed Destroyer, but we've fully leveled up Destroyer. No, I'm going to stick with What question, Horror King? Just wait, should I? Yes. Oh, Horror King asked if you wanted to know why I listened to him when uh, uh, I'm asked to poke you. Poke, 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 poke. Oh, poke. Uh, sure, why not? 40% of health! Yes, we have full health, everybody. And AE <sighs> has a lot of great tips about the game. Of course. A was familiar with the game in uh, development, obviously. Annoying. Played the earlier versions of the game. Uh, so, as we've learned... So, <laughs> A, your thoughts on this subject? Uh, a, uh, uh, why is it that when you go through the door that has all the gold in it, they give you a prize, and when you go through, a, like, an item, but when you go through this door with nothing on it, they give you a bunch of gold? That feels like a glitch to me. Instead of contesting magic attack, no. Uh, cowardly Bowmaster's Bow, no. Giant's Axe, increased physical attack by 30%. Wow. Is this a power skull? It is. I want that badly. Uh, what can I afford to get rid of? Ring of Wind. Attack speed by 15, movement speed by 10. Brawler's Knuckle. Okay. I do need to reduce damage because I'm not in great shape. Oh. Yeah, I can get rid of the thorny pole. Oh, no, wait, that's 10% extra damage reduction. All right, we're switching from sword to axe. Let's do this. Yeah, no, if the Black Dungeon didn't used to have all of these traps, I would imagine it is considerably harder now, because I have a real rough time with this map. Again... The Chimera is actually one of the easiest bosses in the game once you learn its patterns. Like, the the problem with the Ent that keeps it being such a tough thing to fight is that uh, it's hard to get the double jump going. Whereas the Chimera, he just has a, a she, just has a set group of attacks. Which are all deadly, but if you know how they work, it's not that difficult to avoid them. And if you're good at the game, which, I mean, come on. We know I'm not good at games. But uh, I will show it off to you in a bit. Are you guys dead yet? Thank you. Gosh. Oh, they're both dead. Nice. Yes. Anytime there's a large group of enemies, the uh, Ghost Rider is literally the best character of the game because he can just drive back and forth, killing all of them before they have a chance to attack you. It's amazing. Also, this predator is a really boss as hell character. Wow. Oh, nice. Uh, magic bead of darkness when swapping inflicts stun on nearby enemies. No, thank you. I think she was satisfied with the answer to your question, Horror King. What was the answer? I don't know. You have to go back and check. But I was sleeping. Were you, though? Okay, one dead. Oh, we're both evil. And Horror King asks nicely. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay, there is literally a ant, like, in the middle of the map. Thanks for that, guys. Okay, this is problematic. What? Yeah, no, having two super powerful guys next to each other, that's not going to cause a problem at all. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Wow. Okay, that cost me a lot of health, and they didn't give me any health. So thanks, guys. You have to pay this guy for a random item, but it's always worth it. I tried to say yes. Oh, I pressed Y instead of um, actually pressing A on yes. My bad. Oh my god, it's a legendary item. Uh, when it's swapping, creates a giant vortex that does magic damage. Sure, let's... That just... It's worth show, having that just to show it off. Uh, attack speed, physical attack. Uh, I think I'm going to have to swap out my attack speed, which sucks. But I tend to rely on special attacks anyway, so there you go. Okay. Very good item. Every three kills, you get one hit point back. Yeah, that's not worth it. All right, time for the boss. 
You know, I've talked a lot about how this is one of the easiest bosses in the game, so when I get killed by her right now, it's going to be really embarrassing. No, you say swap the, dra the stone, uh, but I need the health. Hey, buddy! What's your deal? Oh. I thought that would do more damage. They're all like, hey, ow! Uh, it's gonna do damage when you swap, and I'm like, yeah, how much damage when I swap? And the answer is apparently almost none. You little... Wait, my bike's not recharged yet? Oh, my bike wasn't recharged yet. Okay, that's embarrassing. As you can see, I've taken like 30 points of damage, and I've already destroyed 40% of her health. So yes, this is not one of the game's harder bosses. I mean, the stuff falling from the ceiling is annoying, but, you know, fundamentally. Ow! As are these guys who just charge down constantly. Very irritating. Okay. And now we've got slime falling from the ceiling, kind of trapping me. One of the rare times in the game uh, when you wish you would have a ranged character, who generally in this game are not all that good. Come on. Uh-oh. There we go. Whoa, the cages! No! Ugh, well now I feel stupid. You're supposed to hide behind the cage, it's a whole thing. You just have to destroy the first part of it so you have uh, room to hide behind it. Okay, dodge that time, nice. Uh-oh. It's gotta be almost dead, right? What? Okay, two, three. Yeah, that triple jump is unbelievably useful. See? I didn't actually have to break through the cage. All I had to do was jump over it, because I have the triple jump. Okay. I really am getting hammered here, but... That's largely because I'm playing as a character I've never played before. Oof. Usually I will try to have a character with a, uh, a heavy hitter like the Buzzsaw. Warrior Steel Mace, no thank you. Alright. And we did it, everybody! Now you can see the level 2 uh, Ghost Rider. Then we will be stopping playing this game. Uh, because... Well, no. From here, I know I can beat the game. Ah. That was the hardest level. Ah. Because it had the triple adventurer and the hardest levels to fight. So I know I can beat it from here, and I don't want to show... I mean, this is literally a video just to introduce people to the game. I so showing people the ending would probably yes. not be a good thing no, to do No, I don't think that. you should show no. people the ending. That would be... So we are, I'll show you the final level, but, uh, you know, I don't want to show off. See? Now he's got a flaming mohawk. Is very cute. Oh, you saw the Babadook. Nice. I enjoyed it. Maybe not the best movie, but I did enjoy it. All right. Yeah, so he leaves uh, flames everywhere he walks. And if people walk on them, they take damage. He's pretty... Uh-oh. Press the wrong button. Although everybody took a ton of damage because I got the stone that does huge bonus damage if you swap to a... Uh, power character. See, like... Yeah, Ghost Rider does just stupid amounts of damage. I'm a big fan. Yeah, like 20 times for working. Again, I, I've i collected footage of every character in the game, except it turns out the Predator. Dude. But oh, no, they are taking da magic damage. from. It's just these guys have so much health, it doesn't even notice it. Yeah, that crossbow guy is ridiculously strong. <laughs> That's a good ability. And as you see, for five seconds after he uh, does the transformation, 
Nice. Uh, five seconds after he does the transformation, does huge bonus damage to everybody. Careful. Hey, do you have any? Does anybody have any idea? I'm specifically looking at you, I, about what cleansing the fountains does? Because I don't have the slightest idea. I've beat the game doing it. I've beat the game not cleansing all the fountains. Oh, here's the prisoner. For anyone who's uh, curious, the prisoner is a crossover with the game uh, Dead Cells. I don't know why he's not a legendary character. You can't level him up. But he's uh, pretty badass. Got a lot of powers. He's super spry. Very high rate of uh, movement. Just a cool guy to have around. Alright, so as I said, we're going to stop playing this game here because I don't want to spoil it for everybody. Uh, for now, though, I just want to say that Skull the Hero Slayer, in case it wasn't clear based on all of my comments so far, is going to be tough to beat for the year's best roguelite. And just generally one of the most impressive roguelites I've played in ages. Again, since Dead Cells, really. So yeah, way to go, developers of this. It's an entirely Korean-made game. Uh, to the point where they didn't bother doing English voiceover for the cat witch who narrates the game and just speaks Korean the whole time, because why shouldn't she? It's a Korean game. But yeah, no, uh, no real localizing beyond the text, which is very nice. Oh my god, I just realized he's got one hand in the air. Is he giving people the finger? Because if so, more power to you, buddy. Dude! Uh-oh. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, my only real complaint about the game is I really feel like dude should drop a little more health when they die. That's pretty much it. What the hell? Oh, that thing. Anyway, as I was saying, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks so much for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons coming up to help you with that. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. See you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, I'm going to say that's right. Wow, this is cool. Au revoir. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I have, um, I understand how the prisoner works. I'm just saying you can't go to the, uh, all I'm saying is you can't go to the spider lady and actually upgrade the skull to a new form or like the super prisoner or something like that obviously he would have a better name than the super prisoner this is the champion he's a boxer and hitting dudes powers up your special powers so then you can uh, hit them hit people with them it's fine he's a great character i'm not complaining but that's not what we're here for so there you go no we just ended the first game of the stream ghost relax all right. Ah, time to end this game. I love the guy who'll never stop looking for his actual head. I wonder if you can figure out which head it is and give it to him and he'll say something unique. I tried to do that a couple of times, but every time I did it, he's like, oh, this must be it. And he says something funny and you move on. Yeah. Yeah, an upgraded prisoner would be pretty uh, gosh darn impressive. Unfortunately, you cannot save and quit. That is another minor problem with the game, but it's a minor problem. I shan't be complaining. Oh, Skull the Hero Slayer. Such a deeply cool game. They have, as the kids say, knocked it out of the park and without even having a baseball-themed guy. Good night, Joanne. That's true. What's the next game I'm going to be playing? A little something called XO1. Oh, I'm also going to be posting a little video uh, along with my that video you just watched about uh, Skull the Hero Slayer. About how much fun it is to cheat at Skull the Hero Slayer. So that should be fun too. No, it's a really good game. One of the best uh, pick up and play and... Oh. Hey, this game's not out yet. I'm going to make sure it's cool for me to play it before we start. I thought it was out because I saw some ad for it. Well, not an ad for it, but like a video of it on uh, PCGamer.com. Uh, description. 
Uh, do, 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 do. Nothing about an embargo. Okay. Okay, here we go. So let's uh, load it from my library, since I'm not allowed to load it from my uh, store page, because it's not out yet. But yeah, we're allowed to play it. Alright, let's do this. Hidden Object Guru here with hot upcoming game XO1, which is, I understand it, a tone piece art game about interplanetary travel. Am I right that that's what it's about? I don't know. Let's find out together, shall we? Hmm? I said let's find out together, shall we? Hmm. Okay, so the surly bonds are written, so I've done hundred things you've not dreamed of. Okay. You know that thing about, like, not waking sleeping cats? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, sh 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 here we go. Oh, they sent us plans on how to build a spaceship to go to their, uh, uh, to another planet. Depends how long this one takes, Delbert. Oh, no. Soul Survivor is never something you want to hear when you're talking about outer space missions. Can you, though? Can you? Oh, no. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Ooh, we're in Sagan 5. That would be a 4. Oh, my God. Look at the screen, huh, Guru? Uh, that would be a planet named after Carl Sagan. Gravity Drive. Nice. Ah. So that just shoots it forward, is what you're saying. Tell me more about this gravity drive. God, this looks really stunning. What are those crosses on the screen? Burb indeed. Please stop playing English backwards. It hurts my head. Like, I know it was easier than doing voice, deciding what you want to do with voice acting, but stop it. Oh, am I playing now? Oh, weird. Okay, hold to drop. I'm releasing to fly. Nothing's happening. Oh, I had to release it earlier. Okay. While I was on the upslope. Gotcha. To use all my momentum. I see. Oh, that's cool. I can move. Of course I can move. Why wouldn't I be able to move? Damn. Well, that does look good. Almost shockingly good, actually. Hey, check out this thing. Yay! It rained on our spaceship thing! I don't know if this is a spaceship. I didn't, Horror King. Uh, no, but keep asking. Just saw your message. We got so high we went into the... Oh my god, I'm skating across the surface of water. No, wait. Yes, that was water. What? Flying through a rainstorm over the ocean. Well, that looked amazing. Although that seems to be this game's raison d'etre. Wow. I can double jump. I don't know... Gah! How that factors in with the game's visuals and the concept of... Uh, this kind of weird space flight thing, but yes, I can double jump. Whoa. Just get a little bit of an extra boost. What is going on with this mountain? That doesn't look like a natural formation. Can I climb up on it and look around, or? No, it was not a natural formation. Oh, look at that thing. All right, we're getting up on that, everybody. It's got a ramp and we're taking it. Ah, screwed up. Sorry. 
There we go. Yeah, we'll see about this, Pyramids of Mars. Alright. Whoa! Yes! Done! I have no idea this is what we're supposed to be doing. But it looked cool as hell. So I did it. Weird. Is there supposed to be someone in this ship? I think it's so much bigger than I realized it was, than I thought it was. So has there been any messaging about what I'm supposed to accomplish here, or... Or what? Oh wait, there was just a... Whoa, cool. So if I press both at once, I turn into a flying saucer that skims along the ground. Okay. Then I let go and I just fly. Okay. That does look awesome. Oh no, I ran out of power. Did not know that was a thing. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yes, this is going well. He said, hoping that was the case. Uh-oh. There was a giant crater ahead of me and I failed to get into it. So let me try that again, shall we? Okay. Let's build that momentum. Gain height. What the hell do you mean by that? Hmm. I'm having trouble with some of this rolling. Give me a second. Got to find a downhill slope if we're going to get into that crater. I guess I could just roll up the side of the crater at uh, moon gravity, right? Nope, we did it. Just a little bit... F oh, yes! Alright, the inside of the crater is... Uh, I'll let you know, David. Don't worry. The inside of the crater is nice. I gotta say, if you're looking for a very chill game to just meditate with, this might wind up being one of the best I've ever seen. What is the object of the game? No one knows. Oh. And so I've been flying towards this light for a while, and maybe I'm supposed to get to it, or maybe it's just... Ah! Transport monolith distance closed to 40 kilometers. Apparently I've been heading towards a transport monolith this whole time, and the game is only just now telling me. Wait. I know, right? So you're like a glowing ball? Yes. Which may or may not have astronauts in it. Cool. And now we're literally just flying as a saucer. You can only keep saucer form for so long now. Hmm. See what I mean about it just being gorgeous? Yeah. So, do you think that might be the transport monolith beam? I would assume so. This would be cool in VR. 
it seems like it would be a very stupid move on these guys' parts to not put out a VR version of this game. I'm going to I was about to say, I'm going to assume this landscape is being procedurally generated, but who knows? No! All of my beautiful momentum! Also, nice music. Although that almost goes without saying. L is Lady Guru good at drawing? I don't know. No, not Never asked her to draw anything for me. I am not particularly good at drawing. I've tried my hand at it. Who wanted to know? What's that? Who wanted to know? Uh, Ghost. Huh. Not particularly. I do. I, lo I love photography, but I'm not great at drawing. What is that at the bottom? Sagan. Oh, it's telling we're on Sagan 4 and exactly where we are on the planet. Did they map. A, did they, like, generate an entire planet? Apparently. Maybe. Wow. Finally got the hang of moving this guy around. Oh, dang. It's almost hypnotic, and I don't know what that is, Edward. An anime about a slime? Gotcha, ghost. No. Well, that looks amazing. We're almost at the transport monolith, everybody. I can see it in the distance. I mean, I assume that's it. It's got a laser shooting out of it. Although it's actually two pieces of stone, so calling it a monolith seems like a very poor choice. Okay, I just uh, headed back to the Earth so quickly we literally broke the sound barrier creating that sonic wave you all saw. Wow. Yeah, they're not kidding around with this game. It is really gorgeous. Is it also baffling? Sure, but only by design. They meant it to be this weird. Let's go downhill. Let's fly. Wow. All right, can I hit this slope? Yeah. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Presumably in uh, later levels, I will start getting attacked by zombies and aliens and have to, like, dodge their missiles. But for right now, uh, I'm just enjoying the chill. That was a joke, by the way. I have no belief that later in this game we'll have to fight, you know, like, zombies who shoot missiles at you. I'm not delusional. Aww, I'm not going to make an indent in those clouds. Whoa. Yeah, that's got to be a transport monolith, right? On what planet is that not a transport monolith? Oh my god. Uh, the 10 minute file of our recording for this game has already taken up six and a half gigabytes of space. That's how much mini minuscule levels of detail are going into this. Evidence has suggested multiple interpretations, Marissa. Wow. Look at this thing. Transport, please. We did it! We made it to the monolith, I think. Now it's just a question of riding the light. Oh my god, here it goes! 
Yep, now we're going through the waves from 2001 A Space Odyssey. I don't think I picked a good time to look at the screen. No, that was it not a good time pretty... to look at the screen. Pretty much, Edward. Aww. Why are you delusional? For my crazy ideas about what the game is about. Uh, and what do you think the game is about? I assume that the later planets you'll be attacked by zombies with rocket launchers, because it's a video game. Uh. Mm. I don't think it's that kind of <laughs> We're on a planet named Gnoe. Gnoe. Is that a reference to Green Lantern? I don't know. Maybe. No, no. Oh. Feel like that's We're finding out the disaster that happened in Jupiter. Green Lantern. Very cool, Marissa. Thank you for doing that. We always appreciate it. Oh, Kablamo. We are going to be playing Hitman this whole week. Starting to Marzies. How do you fly it? You become one with the ball? <laughs> ball. <laughs> You're welcome. It does more than just fly. It also rolls like a rollerball. Thus creating the impression that this thing, if unleashed, could destroy our entire free market system. Hey, Bacon. If you know what that... if you, uh, So, yes. I've just suggested that this rollerball could destroy our entire free enterprise system. Or free market system. Free market system. If you know what that's a reference to, be the first commenter below the video to mention it, and you'll win a prize. Just drop it in the comment section below the video, along with the time code for where in the video I asked the quiz question, and boom, the prize is yours. God. These alien planets have some bonkers weird architecture. Anyway, we're going to take a break here, because, honestly, I wanted to show off this game, and I think we've accomplished that. I'm being followed around by adorable little fireflies. Aw, hey guys. They're trying to communicate with me. Because I'm also a glowing ball of light. Neat. To them. I don't know if they can understand what I am really. Anyway, as I was saying, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I'm going to see you back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir. So I have to assume... Uh, those flying things... Whoa. Uh, so they're the natural inhabitants of this planet. But they're not who built all this stuff. Right, because these weird giant blocks are built out of the same materials we saw in Sagan 4. And considering that this material is also... Whoa! What the hell just happened? What the teleport beam is made out of, I have to assume they're all made out of the same things. That might be it, Senator. It wouldn't surprise me. So they built it for this dude. And you're right, is he trying to get back to Earth, or is this the story of him trying to meet the aliens for Earthicans? Oh, wow, you're not... Oh my god, did you see how much momentum you can build up by uh, falling as a disc? That was insane. <coughs> Uh-oh, probably should try not to fall down that pit. Oh, the game doesn't let you. That was t scary. Now we're just getting tossed around by the wind. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, this game is chill as beans. Hey, my buddies are back. All right. All right. Uh, let's go change to some Outlast, huh? <laughs> is very swank. I'd say almost dangerously so. Yeah. 
My lady is napping, so she cannot involve herself in the conversation. Who? What's that? No. Was that not an accurate description of the situation? No. See, she now agrees with me. <laughs> or condescendingly pats me on the arm. Either way, I agree with her actions. Oh my god, you're warm. Cold hands. Oh no, I'm cold. I'm ice cold, right. Because I've had my hands out from under blankets and I've got the window open. Sorry, door oh. open. Well, it's a window door. I stand by my statement. You know, one of those uh, sliding glass doors that's a window and it's a door? They've had them since the 60s. Yes? Yes. Yeah. I see. No, you're right. Comfy's a good description for it, Senator. It's just a very chill game. Oof, horror king. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> Trust me on this one. It was an oof. All right. All right. I'm going to turn the audio back on. One second, and I'll be recording. Hidden Objects Guru back with more Outlast. When we last left the game, I believe we were busy outlasting. And now we're going to keep doing that. So, fun fact... I don't know if this actually is a fun fact. Uh, the recording time on your camera only tracks how long you've had the camera up in a given uh, session of playing the game. So it reset when I loaded. I'm sad. Yeah, uh, I agree that this part sucks. As I was saying, when I first... Uh, when I Not when I first played the game. When I tried to do my... Uh, Uh, my one life playthrough, which I did, which I did accomplish. Uh, this is where I got killed the most. Yeah. Turn on the two gas pumps, the main brake, and restart the generator. Okay. Sounds like a blast and a half. Maybe I better swap out that battery in the camera, huh? Yeah. Thought I had more batteries than this. Ghost seems to have gone crazy again. I don't judge, but it is weird. You'll see. Let's very carefully open the door. Looks like you need to get started, generator. I feel like that might, guy might be coming to kill me. Given, you know, the premise of the game. Just gonna go this way and hopes he doesn't know about me. No, please tell us, Horror King. I don't see any sign of him. So that's good. He saw me, everybody. Why do I make such loud noises when I close doors? What's that about? Is 
Just gonna hide for a second. I'll feel better about myself after having hidden. Bravo, Senator. He seems mad about something. Not 100% clear on why these guys are full of rage. Just because their bodies are being slowly taken over by nanomachines. You know what? Now that I say it out loud, I kind of get why they're full of rage. Just, yeah, okay. I mean, it is an asylum for the criminally insane that they're using to generate nanomachines. I know. You see, what they wanted to do, they thought it was too, uh... Exactly right, Senator. Uh, so they thought it was too expensive to make nanomachines with, you know, micro-engineering and whatnot. So instead, they started drugging people and using hypnosis uh, to make their bodies start spontaneously producing nanomachines. Who could have possibly thought anything would go wrong with that? Let's all listen carefully. I know the timeline wasn't right at all, but I kept hoping we'd see young Jack in uh, Phantom Pain, but we did not. Let's all be very, very quiet. Uh, why are you so crazy, ghost? We might be almost there. Okay, that door is shut for good. What's through here? Okay, I can't see anything. I have no idea if this is back the way I came. Probably is not. All of this water makes it very hard to, you know, like, not get heard by dudes. Thanks, Ghost. Nice of you to say. Uh, so, yeah, no, and it is, it is a true fact that when I first played this game and tried to get the uh, You Only Live Once trophy, or whatever the trophy is called, I literally... Okay, that's human organs. Okay, did not mean to go into this room. You're not on the market for human organs? Sadly, no. This that's would have been good. a great place to go if I was, though. Uh, yeah, I died like six times. Probably maybe more. Trying to beat this area. Before I finally beat it. And then, literally, I didn't die. I never had to restart the game again. So, I beat it on my sixth or seventh try. But, oh my god, doing this over and over again was incredibly frustrating. I have no idea where he is. I know it's a foolish question asking you where he might be. But, because he's a guy so crazy that he's collecting human blood in paint cans. Better not be right in front of me. He wasn't. Right, I'm going to hide behind this blue barrel until I'm sure he's not, like, right behind me and will see me the minute I press that button. Yep, he was following me. I suspected as much. Awesome, ghost. How are you doing in, uh... GTA Online. I wonder if I got all the trophies for this game. All right. Oof. Yeah, don't do that, Senator. I know everyone knows Senator is joking about breathing paint thinner. Ow! But seriously, do not do that. Okay, well, this is bad. Oh, I'm in real trouble here, everybody. I'm 
More batteries? Don't mind if I doodle. Okay, that sucked. We got away, though. Because we're playing on normal difficulty this time. I'm not a masochist. Yeah, you got that backwards, Senator, but if your comment is taken backwards, then good point. I don't think he can see me. Yes, but you always say that, uh, Horror King, so... You're eventually going to be right every now and then. If you always suggest the exact same, very likely, situation. Alright, let's all be very careful. Then we'll get out of this bleak nightmare area. And move on. Moldering in his grave, his truth is marching on. Hey guys, I'm gonna leave now. I've enjoyed partying with you back here. But I think it's time to go. Capiche? He capiches. Whew. That door's locked. Why is the door locked? Hey, Chris. Good timing. Just save that game, huh? Why do I have six games saved at the end of the game? That's a weird thing to have done. Maybe the end of the game was a very complicated level. Don't really remember. Can I hide under here? I can. Good. So is there like a door I unlocked down here by turning the power on? Oh, this is the other side of the door I was peeking through earlier. Cool. I gotta say, now that I've turned the lights on, it doesn't seem that scary down here. That's a lie. It seems incredibly scary. I gotta say, this game's lean function is not as effective as you want it to be. Whew. Right, you just leave and get wall-rided at the end of the game? It's been a while. I don't exactly remember how it goes. I'm very happy they made a TV show about John Brown. We need it now more than ever, you know. What with the Nazis. I should really watch that. I mean, why do we have HBO if I'm not going to watch Ethan Hawke playing John Brown in a miniseries, right? Oh, good. This jerk again. Ow! Dick. Okay. Okay, how did he know exactly where to find me? I can't actually find the door, everybody. All right, they got me. Oof. Well, that could have sucked less, huh? Wait. I was allowed to go through the door? I'm so confused now. Did it just load me back at the start of that sequence? No, it can't have, because it's saved. 
I'm so confused. Oh, I see. Okay, I don't know why I wasn't able to get through that door. Priest is so crazy. Can you? Can you? Is this happening now? And that's why you don't fight people with telekinesis. Or indeed in this game, uh, clouds of nanotechnology with telekinesis? <clears throat> Teleka what? Oh, good. I'm in a padded cell. I guess that means Dr. Traeger's around here somewhere. Not a fan of his. Ouch, Chris. Fascinating, Delbert. That's something we're going to talk about later. Requisiat in pace. Yes, I know. I keep my I keep my camera up at all times. For that exact reason. Where the hell did that guy go? What is your damage, Heather? Anyway, that was unpleasant. Do you have something to say? Like, you're on camera, so... No? Okay. Just gonna... Just gonna close that. Why? Why take a chance, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, guy. Oh, it's the brothers. Uh-oh. These two have issues, huh? Definitely one way to describe it. I think it would have been a laugh riot had he, uh... Wow, those nano... Machines really do nasty things to people, don't they? Oh, it's the exit. Nice. Making sure there's no, like, files or batteries or anything to record. Oh, that was a nice trick, buddy. I'm very impressed with that. Apparently they've always been here. No files, huh? Let's just leave. You creepy, creepy nerds. Okay.
Hi. Okay, so that happened. I think the less we're going to talk about that, the better, huh? You do not want help. Well, why are you, why are you yelling to me if you don't want help, weirdo? I was going to say, it's too bad that these guys didn't have, you know, guns to defend themselves. But they're fighting against nano-monsters, so it's entirely possible guns would not have helped. So I got my jacket on. That's good. Priesty boy didn't steal my jacket. It's a thank heavens for small favors type of situation. Don't know who that guy is. Follow blood, blood trails to the exit. That doesn't seem safe. I didn't know there were comics, Delbert. Thanks. That's where the blood trail leads. Oh, there's also one going upstairs. Okay. I'm embarrassed. Yeah, that's where Chris is waiting for me? It's true. If you don't have metal in your system, how can you, uh... How can you make new, new nano machines? That guy's got some emotional problems, huh? I did know that. Thank you, though. I'm gonna check to make sure I can't open this door. Are we sure we can't open this door yet? No? It's totally inactive. What's that reflection? So... Because they were trying to be clever, they put a reflection of a long hallway in these doors as a static image. But there's no hallway before behind me, just a staircase. Come on, guys. All right. Well, what you got to remember is that uh, Joel was a really bad guy, Delbert. One of the worst. I'm not saying he deserved to get killed. I'm saying he's a really bad guy unbelievably bad actually he murdered tons of innocent people both when he was a road agent and when he was uh, trying to stop them from curing zombieitis okay tell me about this conjuring Okay. And I'm hungry like the wolf. Do 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 do. Ba da da da. Do 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 do. Like I should duck so as not to be seen. Yeah, that's a plan. Just gonna 
Well, there's a guy there. Is he going to walk away at some point, or... Am I try, supposed to try to run past him, or... Does he, like, turn from time to time? Kind of seems like he's stuck there. I don't know that they knew that at the time, though, Delbert. That might be something they figured out later. Okay, I really thought he was going to attack me. Guess I lucked out. Also, 100% in uh, my run of Last of Us, the doctor who was supposed to uh, operate on Ellie's brain did not die. I was careful to only shoot him in the in the little toe. Uh, okay. Oh, he didn't have any trouble uh, running over that e either. Whew. Do you see everything now? I feel like you might not actually see everything. I think you might just be a weird creep. Who doesn't have superpowers. And is, in fact, just a weird tr creep. We're good? Hey, Hacker, what's up? You got here just as we're getting close to the end of the stream, so... Well, it's up to you whether you thought that was good timing or not. Not 100% sure how to get past that guy. I think I have to go into that room, but it's kind of blocking it, so... Hey, weirdo. What's your deal? I will. Very quiet. I'm going to impress you with my quietude. For it is only the embrace of quietude that two lovers can... And that's where the sentence ends, so we don't know what's going to be said next. Of course it's locked. Where'd that guy go? Actually, you know what? I don't care. I'm happy he's gone, and we're just going to leave it at that. Okay. Thank you for the tip about blood following. I mean, I know your murderer is trying to lead me into a trap, but still, good to know. Oh, it's this dick again. I feel like he maybe saw me do that. He did, yeah. Ow. What a... Yeah, let's just uh let's just keep going. I don't know what that horrible goop they're spraying on me is, but I'm not happy about it. Do, 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 do. Oh good, the twins are here.
Well, this is horrible. Of course the door needs a key card. Why would the door not need a key card? I'm familiar with how doors operate. Do 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 do. Saving, 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 saving. As one does. Ah! Would you quit it with that stuff, Chris? Jesus. It's not okay. Oof. Well, that is the sewer pit where you have the Chris chase. Question is, how do we get down there? Well, now you're just being sarcastic. Huh? I said nothing. The twins are jerks. No, they're not. They're quite nice. No, not at all. We're not talking with the same twins, are we? Maybe. Is there twins in this video game? Of course. Oh, I was just talking about the twins in the family. Ah, okay. Although now I guess there's more than one set. Oh, mysterious. One of the twins had twins. Ironic, even. <laughs> it makes me laugh. It's very funny. Yes, yes, I'm running out of battery power now. Thank you for telling me. Super useful information. All right, here we go. Ah. Do I have a good video? Yes, I think I have a good video. Isn't that what we're doing here? Making a good video? I don't know if it's good. Well, that's a torture chair. Huh. Any batteries down here, dead guy? No? Okay. You got some wonky eyes, dude. What's that about? His name is... Silas Nisley. Huh. Well... Sorry about your wonky eye. Absolutely true, Senator. We're already doing that. The first video goes up tomorrow, Delbert. Oh, good, it's Chris. I don't know if you know this about Chris, but he is, um, the worst. I guess it's down here we're going. And that's broken. Hey, Chris. And I can't go through that because it's on fire. And I got blown through a wall. Oh. Sorry, blown through a window. You have a good night, David. No, absolutely get that camera. That's the most important thing to do now. No, really? Well, 
Well, that's definitely a pile of bodies. So. Can Chris see in the dark? I feel like Chris might be able to see in the dark. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, well, it doesn't sound like he's leaving. Hey, Chris. I don't think his nose works so well since he tore it off. So, that's an upside to this whole situation. Chris has, uh, I don't know what you want to call these, issues? Uh, this game, yes, I've finished it more than once. Is there something special that happens if you finish it multiple times? Or are you just asking? There's a slight chance he might have heard me just then. Whew. I know. Chris is the closest thing to a good guy we have in this situation. Okay, that didn't work. Where is he going? Hey, Chris. Later. That one's locked. He got me, everybody. That, as the kids say, is that. Yeah. Oh, he got me. It's cool, Bendy. I'm not going to judge you much. <sighs> Oof. Chris, you remain the worst. Yeah, the subtitles are weirdly unhelpful in this game. Like, they don't, they just don't load a lot of the time. It's very weird. So, just go straight to the end. Turn back around. Okay. Come on. There we go. I'm pretty sure Chris can't follow through one of those. Am I right? No, I'm not right. You know what? You keep hiding. It's going to be a good look for you. Here's that guy that Chris tore the head off of earlier. Oh, good. It's the twins again. Oh, no. Just random guys. Hey, straight jacket guy. You've uh, got some issues, huh?
Everything about this world is horrible. Yeah, tell me the secret, weirdo. Sure, yes, 100%. Friends till the end. Like a uh, My Little Pony type of situation. That's how My Little Pony worked, right? Not nothing in there. I have to climb the mattress things. What mattress things? Oh, right, yes. Thank you. Okay. Suddenly I'm... Ah! Respect. I feel like this guy's definitely going to grab my throat as I try to walk. Uh... All right, good to know. Will it, though? I feel like faith in the wrong things isn't what's destroying you. It's more, you know, either the telekinetic cloud of nanoparticles, or ghost, if you will, or the giant monster man who, uh, you know, tearing everybody's heads off like a jerk. Seriously, what a jerk. All right, we just reached a save point. That's going to make this a perfect time to take a break. Because this is all getting too intense for me. Uh, so for now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. I'd like to thank you for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to say mo uh, see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I'm going to see you back here for more new and or upcoming video games. But until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir. Okay, this is weird. I thought I had more files than this. Does I only have three files? 100% I've picked up more than three files in this game. That's weird, right? Hmm. Huh. Yes, I'm sure Dr. Wernicke is really dead. I'm sure that evil Nazi is not just living in the basement. Working on his horror... Oh, yeah, okay, this is just... When I loaded, it erased all of the stuff I had found? Yeah. Well, he's trying to get the wall rider locked away again, but I mean, he still can be the problem in that situation. We did save? We did save, okay. Apparently it thinks it's 420. What is wrong with my uh, Xbox? Oof. It's weird that I can't, like, look at the files. I'm checking what files I have uh, in this saved game at the end of the game. Oh, see, there you go. There you go. Although this seems to be missing a bunch as well. Also, there's one about the groom. Oh, this is from, um, this is Whistleblower. I didn't know that was Whistleblower. Maybe that's why I had multiple save files for the end of the game. Some were miss Whistleblower and some were the regular game. Although, why would they all be the same exit file? Or maybe there's a file about the groom in the main game and I'm just not smart. Either way. Yeah.
Oh, Eddie Gluskin, you're the worst. You're quite crazy, aren't you, the groom? Very, very, very crazy. Yeah, no, this is 100% all of the notes from playing uh, Whistleblower, isn't it? That's weird, because it's all about the groom. Anyway. Oh, excuse me. We're going to wrap up the stream here. I'd like to thank everybody for dropping by. I hope you had a good time until I started reading files. Uh, <laughs> I know I did. Uh, seriously, though. We're going to wrap up here. I'll see you back here tomorrow where we're going to be playing a bunch of Hitman because Hitman's coming out and I've been desperate to play some Hitman. So yeah, that should be a blast and a half. We'll see you back here for that. Everybody say goodnight to Boo, who had a hell of a time being today's uh, plushy cam star. He loves the attention and I hope you all keep giving it to him. We'll see you back here tomorrow, but until then I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.